Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, June 5th, 6th, and 7th. The sun's in Gemini and the moon is in Scorpio. Kind of a strange combo. Gemini so light and frivolous, Scorpio deep and intense. And then we have Mercury in Taurus. This is interesting. The sun always travels with Mercury. Mercury is either in one sign behind it, in the same sign, or one sign in front. Mercury never leaves the sun. So to have a Gemini with a Mercury in Taurus opposite the moon in Scorpio, it's way slower. And Mars, by the way, just left Gemini and entered Cancer. So we have Mercury in Taurus, we've got Mars in Cancer, we have Moon in Scorpio, that's all Earth and Water. What a gift for a Gemini to have the combo of the grounded Taurus, Mars, and Cancer, and Scorpio. You know what? I have this in my chart. And then the suns and Geminis to keep it all light. So the combination in astrology is chemistry. Basically, we're talking about chemistry. You put planets together. When you learn in my school how to do astrology, I have a really cool school. It starts in September. If you're interested, go look on my website under classes. I love to teach, as you can see. What happens is there's three ingredients in a chart. One, you put it in a blender. One is the planet. So that would be the sun in Gemini. Next is the sign, that's Gemini. And then there's the house, which we can't talk about in these videos. But those three ingredients are how you play in the kitchen with the chart. And then when you mix it all up, the sun, the Gemini, and the house, or the planet, the sign, and the house, that's when astrology comes to life. And that's very Scorpio of me, to go deeply into the detail. Let the Gemini be fun, but the Mercury and Taurus wants to go slowly and give you content. So for the next few days, as Mars now moves into Cancer, we're going to start feeling ourselves a little bit slower than what was like before when we had that Mars was in Gemini and the Sun was in Gemini and whoo, lots of energy. And that's Gemini's nature. They do are the perpetual child. They do have endless energy and they are the ones that love to entertain themselves by the hour with whoever they walk by. They're just plain old nosy. And when you've got Moon in Scorpio, they want to hear all your deepest secrets. Astrology answer said, Deborah Silverman, will you talk to them about astrology? And I said, you bet. I'm a Gemini. I'm built for the job.